Hi and welcome and thank you for joining. Today I'm going to be using Microsoft Excel 2016 and I'm going to be going over various different functions and formulas as well as how to use flash fill and edit your columns and rows. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've created a spreadsheet here. What's on the spreadsheet doesn't really matter. It's more of the concepts and what we're going to be doing that's going to be important. So go ahead and follow along. So right here in column B, I see that I have item number and category. Okay, and that's and we see all the different item numbers along the left side and the categories along the right side. Now, let's say we get in a scenario where I want to split up those two column or uh, that column into two columns. The way that we could do that is with flash fill, and I'm going to show you how to use that right now. So. I want to basically split up the item number and the category. So first thing I need to do is insert two new columns. So I'm going to click on column C and I'm going to go to the home tab, the cells group, and I'm going to click on this button right here, insert. And I click that once and a new uh, column is inserted and I click it one more time and another column is inserted. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so we can see what's going on. And now I'm going to type in item number here and then I'm going to type in category into column D. All right, so the item number for this row right here, which is row 14, is 1123, and I press enter. And then the one here for uh, the container plants is 1267, and then this one here is 1843, right? We can see those numbers right there. Now, instead of having to go down and type through all of these, all the way down to row 42 here, we're not going to do that. We're going to use flash fill. So if I highlight from the very first one down through row 42 where my data ends, I can now ask Microsoft Excel to look for patterns. And the way that I'm going to do that is with flash fill. So I go to the home tab, the editing group, and then I click on this fill button right here. And at the very bottom, we see a button for flash fill. When I click that, it automatically adds in all of the item numbers from the uh, formula uh, right here. So there we go. So there we go. That's how flash fill works. Now the good thing is once you do flash fill initially, now Microsoft Excel is looking for it. So if I type in edibles here and then I press enter and then I type in container plants, you can see that as I begin to type in container plants, it auto populates all of the other categories for me and I can see it below. And so all I have to do is press enter and it'll enter in all of those different uh, categories for me. So there we go. So now that I have both of these thing, uh, both of these columns now done, I could delete column B because I don't need it anymore. So the way that you delete a column is you click on the column itself, you right click, and you go to delete. Okay. I'll show you another way in just a little bit. So that's how we delete uh, a column. Now what I want to do now is I want to uh, cut and paste. And so if you're unfamiliar with cut and paste, to cut is control X and to paste is control V as in Victor. So I want to cut column C, which is category here. I want to cut this one and paste it all the way over here to column H. So here's what I'm going to do. I click on column C and I do a control X. And so now I'll see the moving border around it and that's X as in X-ray. And then I can click on column H and do a control V as in Victor. And it's going to move all the contents from column C over to column H. So there we go. Now I have this column C here and I'm going to show you another way to delete column C. Instead of right clicking and going to delete, if I click on the column C itself and I go to the home tab and in the cells group, I see a button for delete and I can click right there and that will delete column C. All right, so this is looking good. So now what I'm going to do is auto fit the cells. Auto fit allows the cells to basically extend or contract uh, to the amount of size of the biggest um, uh, text or number within that data. So I want to auto fit columns A through G. So I'm going to first highlight A through G and then in between any of them, let's say between E and F here, or D and E, as long as I see this icon right here, which is a vertical black bar with two horizontal arrows, if I see that, I can double click and it's gonna auto fit my columns, okay? Another way uh, to do that is in the format menu, but the easiest way is really to just uh, double click in between the columns there. All right, so there we go. So that's how we're going to auto fit. 
Now what I want to do is I'm going to show you some calculations. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to cell B4 here and it says total items in stock. Now out of all my data down here, the one that it relates to is the quantity in stock. So first thing I'm going to do is with every formula, I'm going to start with an equals sign. And then with addition, I'm going to type in SUM. Okay. When you type in SUM, that means sum, which equals addition in Microsoft Excel. So once you type in sum, you'll see that in blue right here, we see sum. And if I see that is active, I could do a tab by pressing tab on the uh, computer or on the keyboard rather. And if you press tab, it'll activate that formula. And now I can click and drag from A14, which is where my data begins, all the way down to A42, where my data ends. And once I'm done dragging down there, I release and press enter. And now I see there is my uh, number right there. And so since this is a quantity in stock, I'm going to uh, add in the accounting uh, or the comma style, excuse me. Uh, for home tab, number group, comma style, and that's going to add in a comma, as well as two decimal places. Now we're going to learn how to decrease decimals. When you decrease a decimal, why would you want to do that for right here? Well, the reason is because quantity in stock is right here. You can't have 95 and a half uh, macadamia nuts, for instance. So having two decimal places is redundant data, so I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to go to the home tab, the number group, and I'm going to click on decrease decimal. And so that, if I click it once, it'll give me one decimal and then quick, click it again, there's the end of that other decimal. So there we go. So now what I wanna do is I wanna insert functions for the average, median, lowest, and highest uh, retail prices, and then apply the accounting number format to the result. So if I go to the average price right here, then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna type an equal sign and which uh, column am I interested in? I'm interested in the retail price here. So I need to know the average retail price. So if the average uh, price is all of these combined divided by uh, the sum of each of them, right? Or the count of each of them, I'm gonna type in average. <coughs> so as you type in average, you'll see that average appears in blue right here. And I can press tab to activate that function. And then I can click and drag from D14 down to D42. Once I get to D42, I press enter, and I can see my average price is 22.62138. So we'll have to format that later. For now, let's just focus on the functions. So now let's look at the median price. So which price falls in the middle of all of these? So I'm gonna do an equal sign, and I'm gonna type in median. All right, great. So median appears right here in blue. Remember, once median is in blue, I don't even have to fill out the rest of the entire word. See, for for instance, right here, I have M-E-D-I. If I just hit tab, it's going to auto-populate to median. And then I'm gonna select that same range, D14 through D42. And then I'll press enter. And that gives me a median price of 1865. All right, so remember, the formula for average was equals average. The formula for median was equals median. Right here we have lowest priced, but it's not equals lowest. It's actually equals sign and then min. M-I-N is the smallest number out of that set of values. So if I type in M-I-N, I see that M-I-N appears right here in blue. Once it's in blue, I press tab to activate the formula. And then again, I click from a4 or excuse me d14 down to d42 once i get done with that i press enter and there we go now we have the highest and it's not equals highest either it's equals max which is uh short for maximum min is short for minimum so there we go max and then i press tab once it's in blue right here to activate the function this time i'm going to show you a different way to select the data if i just click and release on D14 and I scroll down to where the end of my data is and then I hold down shift and click on uh, D42 then it will select all of that data so there we go and now I press enter and it says 5495 so there we go that's how we get our highest price so we can now see our range of prices are from uh, 659 to 5495 so there we go. So that's looking good. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to actually format these uh, figures here. Since they are prices, I first want to select them by clicking and dragging through. And since they're prices, I'm going to apply the accounting number format. So I'm going to go to the Home tab, 
the number group, and I'm going to click on the dollar sign right here, the accounting number format. When I click that, it'll automatically populate with the dollar symbol as well as the price itself with two decimal places. All right, so there we go. So I hope that was uh, helpful for you. I hope that you learned how to use the different functions throughout this video, as well as the flash fill and uh, deleting columns, as well as cut and paste. So if that was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. If you have a request for a video in, in Microsoft Office, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope that you subscribe. Thank you.